Do you have those moments that just stick out in your mind? Those ones that just stay with you forever. When I was a kid, I was told, you are what you do. So choose wisely. And I tried to choose doctor, but that didn't take. I can still hear him. You know, this, this just isn't for you. But I knew what they meant. This just isn't you. That's probably not a problem for you, is it, buddy? Chomper, world's best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> See, you know exactly who you are. Oh, I wish I could say the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> Except for adopting you, of course. Without you, I'd be pretty lost. And I sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dreamed of dog sledding since I was a kid. Marco made the races sound incredible. And from how you've dragged me up and down the streets of San Francisco, I think you have dog racing dreams too. Well, let's go assemble us a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. Oh, hey, we just passed mile marker 32. So the ad said that just after the mile marker, there'd be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt. Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. What do you think? And you can't carry the sledding gear on your own, even if you think you can. Igloo! Where are you, girl? You know you have a house right there. You don't have to be in the snow. Right. Home is where you make it, huh, Iggy? Oh, are you just a big old snowball? Big, fluffy, loud. So, your owner said you're ready for an adventure. You love being out in the wild. But they've grown too old for the risks of what's out there. Well, I think we can make this happen. They've got a new life to start. You seem ready to be the wall we need if we get into trouble. And we'll all have each other's backs. It's just a few more miles to our next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. Dear God, your eyes are blue. They're brighter than the sky, Stilton. And you don't seem to miss a thing. You're keeping a constant watch. I bet you know everything that goes on, huh, old boy? You're supposed to be retired, but it sounds like you've been keeping tabs on the pups and leading their training runs. I know some pups that would love to have you around. So, meet the team. I think we're a pretty great bunch. You should have fun here. You've got like a cold fire in those eyes. People shouldn't give up on you so quickly. But I guess some people get obsessed with crushing the competition and they don't see the value of a well-rounded team. We can't all be speedsters or beasts. Sometimes you need a pup who can let you know when you're steering the team into trouble. Or a moose. I hear moose are more threatening than bears, is that true? I'm gonna take that growl as a yes. We're out here to become a real dog musher and, you know, hopefully one day win a race or two. How's that sound? I feel like I lost myself back in the city. I need to know I can accomplish a dream. We're glad to have you, Stilton. I don't know what the ride is gonna be like, but we're definitely gonna have an adventure. 
not sure if I'm picking you based on your skills, or just because I can't pass up a pup. But I am very excited about this team we've put together. We have six stops to go, and we only need to adopt two more dogs. Hey, girl. Are you Finn? Quite the uh, collection you've gathered here. Are these all things you found? They said you're pretty good with your nose. You tend to follow that more than anything else. Sometimes that led you to good things. Sometimes it led you to skunks. <laughs> your owners got tired of skunks, huh? Well... I don't really know my way out there. We might need some help to find more than just the trail. And while you might not be the best at running, it'd be great to have some help to know what to do. There's a lot I don't know about the Alaskan bush. And it's probably important that I try to recognize that I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> okay, then. Seems like we could use a smart dog with a nose for the trail on our team. We'd love to have you, Finn. Hey team, I'd like to introduce you all to Finn. Finn comes to us, well, from the Alaskan bush, just like many of you do, except for you, Chopper. So Finn, you like collecting things, huh? Chopper's the same. Every morning I wake up and he's piled all my shoes in my bed and is using them as a pillow. It's probably not quite the same. Your family said you'd never come back in from walks. You're always yearning to discover more out there. But you had a tendency to not know when you should stop and take a break. You'd just push and find yourself too tired to get back easily. That sounds like we'll have the right kind of adventures then. We're gonna keep going and rest along the way to, well, wherever. It sounds like you feel the same. Jumper, you approve? We're happy to have you, Finn. Oh, you're right. <laughs> We're nearly at the next stop. Thanks. Y you mind if I give you a pet? Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll get to a pet eventually. But I will accept a cautious sniff. Hey, Chomper. You have to take it slow too, okay? She's not ready for you, your lack of personal boundaries. This is going so well. well. We've adopted every pup we've met so far, and we have five more stops to find our final team member. Oh, you're not a small fella, are you? They said you were big, but you're gonna make Chomper look like he was mixed with a corgi. You're actually kind of intimidating. Okay, it sounds like you've gotten into a few fights out there in the wilderness, and that you always stuck by your musher's side, but they were afraid you would jump into a fight you couldn't win. But now you've become restless, being stuck back in the kennel, howling at night for the wild you can't get to. Well, we're hopefully going to have a nice training run out to a new home. We'll see plenty of wild things, I'm sure, and I'd like to avoid the fights I can't win, too. I think this could be good for both of us. All right. What do you think? I'm not really sure why they call you Barkley. You haven't made a single sound since I met you. <laughs> Should we give you a new name? Something that reflects your quiet nature? Mouse sounds nice, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, not quiet, just one to pick your moments. I will make sure to listen. So, let's keep Barkley, then. I think I fell in love with every dog I met. I mean, who could pass up a dog that's ready for a new home? A new adventure? I can't believe it. We're really about to do this. We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. I can't believe we made it to Alaska, Chomper. Margot said to travel to the end of the road, and then hop on the sled, and travel a few days more. 
We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door. And she gave us this map. It's, uh, not as helpful as I'd like. But it'll get us there. We just have to pick our path. So, you're gonna have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but I think you're ready for it. You ready to find our new home? <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team. Barkley, Finn, Stilton, Iggy, and the sled is all ready to go. We've packed the bare essentials to get us started, but we're gonna have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? Two pieces of raw meat. Well, you pups can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail, but I'm gonna have to cook that up if I don't want to freeze my insides. Hypothermia is not something I'm looking to try. We'll be able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. I scrounged up this old gun and a couple of bullets. Just in case. So we'll make do with what we have. We can use them to hunt or keep them around in case we need to protect ourselves. It is the wilderness, after all. You know, bears, moose, wolves, skunks. Oh, and most importantly, we've got one med pack. I should be able to bandage us up if something happens. Okay, well, I guess we should start. What do they say again? Uh, mush on! Now here, we don't say left and right. We use ha for left and g for right. So, let's go. G! do you think that wolf is? Not worth the risk. Is that a squirrel up there? Why is it running so... It's a weasel. Oh, now what? Did you really have to run away after I hit you? I could have tried again if you'd stayed here. You know, put you out of your misery, I guess. But... I'm here to finish what I started. And if I find you again, I plan to. I'm back. All right, we've got two bullets. Let's go, Chomper. Hey! 
Those look like birch up ahead. We could use those to start a fire. Are you both birch? I did not learn the proper mnemonic devices for tree recognition. Well, Margot told me to rip off the bark from birch, and only one of these looks to have rippable bark, and the others are supposed to be aspen, I think. They don't burn as well, but they look a lot like birch from afar. I'll consider myself lucky we have both here. Dear God. Ugh. You're supposed to be like paper. Come here. Okay, so that works up an appetite. But hey, we're not gonna freeze. I'm back. We can start a fire at camp now. Ready to go? Let's rest. We, uh, set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up, to be out of reach of bears. And we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. Food time! Chow down, pups. A fire would be nice. Birch bark works wonders for starting fires. I'm ready to cook some food. Ready for pets, Barkley? You keeping a lookout for all of us? distract you too much, but I think it's time for some good old pets. Maybe some of these. And a bit of a scratch here. I'd take this mitten off, but I fear frostbite. Pets. It's okay. You don't have to be the petting type. You barely know me. But I think you'll grow to like me. I already like you. Let's just... Take it slow, and we'll find ways to show we trust one another. Get back on the trail. Ready to go? What's going on up there, Stilton? What is that? Oh, hello. Okay, on my call, you're gonna try to get yourselves a meal. Hold, hold. Okay, go! 
Sheesh. Y'all are great at catching these birds. Maybe we shouldn't try to have chickens at our new home. Huh. I don't need eggs. I think I like these ptarmigans. You all look very full. Chomper, do you mind not releasing everyone? All the time? I think we're done here. Let's go. It's supposed to be a delicacy. What do you think, pups? Hey, little bunny. All right, Chomper. On my call, you get to... Well, you really have some wolf-like instincts, pal. You just needed to go after some creatures with fewer tall escape routes. Well, I'm glad your belly's full. Let's get back out there. Okay, I'm back. I think we're done here. Let's go. Hmm. Let's go... Gee! You know, we're actually doing pretty well. I mean, we're still alive. And we're getting closer to our new home. You know, just have to make it past some more trees, and snow, probably some more snow, and then we'll be there. You pups look like an incredible team. You even move as one. I am very impressed with your sled dog instincts. We might already be out of food, but I I'm sure we'll be fine. And it's been really nice not seeing any other people. It's just us in the world. I didn't expect to talk out loud this much, but... We're really doing this. We're... I, I mean, I, I'm becoming a musher. Like, a real one. I think Margot would be proud. I still can't believe she gave us her old cabin and, and gear. We're making progress. We should be there soon enough. that up. Just ride in the sled for a bit. The team will be okay. It's okay. Get in the sled. You don't need to run right now. Another meal ready to go. I wouldn't mind a snack. Only one bullet left. At least we've already got some food. I think we're done here. Let's go. Let's rest. We should be able to take care of ourselves here. This'll fix you up. Fire would be nice. Oh, I can't wait to feel the warmth on my face. I'm ready to cook some food. I can't believe you were willing to risk yourself for the team, bud. You're a good leader, Igloo. And Chopper seems to adore you. <laughs> I think you like him too. The 
It's okay. You don't have to be the petting type. You barely know me. But I think you'll grow to like me. Let's just take it slow and we'll find ways to show we trust one another. It's good to have you on the team, Barkley. I shouldn't have brought you out here, buddy. I didn't think it was gonna be this wild. I thought it'd be more like extreme camping. We're great at camping. We just have to keep going, no matter if mistakes are made. Maybe a bit of a massage, keep you loose for the trail. Might be time to get some rest. I'm sure my stomach will be grumbling by morning, but the dogs will be energized. Well, should we go to sleep? All right, everyone feeling better? Get back on the trail? Let's be safe out there. Let's go. Ha! I thought things were going to plan. I really did, but now... I'm not so sure. I didn't even know that muskox were out here, and, and they don't care about what happens to us at all. This might be too much for us, but how do you know when something is actually for you? Our instincts have gotten us this far. Look at what we've already done. Now what? Gee! There are so many tree stumps over there. I'd feel a lot more comfortable if it didn't just feel like people disappeared here. Well, there's an axe here. I am just going to, uh, take this. It opens locks, strips bark, hits things. The first and best multi-tool. I really should have packed an axe instead of waiting to get one at the cabin. It's far more useful with me than not. Oh well. I've got one now. Well, should I try this out? Seems to be plenty of birch here. That's so much easier than ripping this off by hand. Looks like we're done here. I'm back. We can start a fire at camp now. All right, let's mush on. Was that? Chomper, was that you? Okay, I heard it again. Did you make that sound? Right then. Uh, so what does that mean, exactly? I don't know if I can get my voice to do that. Just gotta make, like, two sounds at once. Sounds easy enough. Uh... Or not. This talking animals thing is not going well for me. At least my dogs listen to me. In there, right, Chomper? Chomper! 
What are you chewing on now? Your pups do okay? All right, let's mush on. Let's rest. We should be able to take care of ourselves here. A fire would be nice. Okay, just a little birch bark, a little spark, and behold, fire. Food time. Chow down, pups. <laughs> I'm ready to cook some food. Might be time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? All right, everyone feeling better? Get back on the trail? Let's get back out there. Oh, now what? Gee! Looks like we have a lone birch tree up ahead, pups. Time to make quick work of you. That's so much easier than ripping this off by hand. Looks like we're done here. I'm back. This birch will really help. Let's go, Chomper. Looks like we found some birch trees. On by. Now what? Find out who this belonged to, but we'll take what we can find. The bullet will do just fine. Hey, pups. Two bullets left, team. Let's go, Chopper. Feeling a little weak, pups. It's getting dark, right? I'll just rest my eyes. Keep on running, pups. Ah! Ah! A nightmare. Okay, well, at least I have an idea of what could happen to me out there. Oh, God. Yeah, we, uh, we really need to take care of ourselves out there. We've got a lot of stomachs to think about. I can't take care of you if I don't have the strength to keep my eyes open. We have to plan ahead. Are we ready for this? But I suppose it is making me prepared.
nightmare reminded me to pack our axe to strip those birch trees. It's a good thing we have an overactive imagination. We know what we're up against. Well, we can imagine what we're up against. Huh, chomps? <laughs> so let's go. Let's get out there and live wildly. Live the life that feels true to us. Where did she say this cabin is again? We've got an axe to help us get some wood. Ready to set out on our adventure to a new home? Uh, mush on! Hmm. Let's go... It's supposed to be a delicacy. What do you think, pups? Hey, little bunny. All right, Chomper. On my call, you get to... All right, leave it, Chomper. All right, let's go. Thanks for holding down the sled, pups. I think we're done here. Let's go. I'm certain I read that owls are good omens. Or wait. Sounds pretty good to me. What do you pups think? Ah, oh, good omen! That's what we needed, team! What do we think it'll lead us to? So we've some birch. It's a good start. never seen an owl this close before. So, what omen do you portend, huh? We can't go back. We haven't done anything yet. If I go back now, I'll have failed. Again. And Chomper is ready to run. He's hungry for competition, among other things. You're probably not gonna eat through the gang line and run off into the woods, are you, buddy? Right? Right? Stop corn cob biting the gang line! Not to self. Double wrap the gang line near Chomper. Oh, was that a gift? Bones, bones, bones. Right, it's just full of bones. At least someone's eating well out here. I'm back. Ready to go? Work in the road. Where to? Ha! Finn, what do you smell, girl? Is there something worth checking out up there? What you tracking, girl? Oh, Finn, get out of there! Previous owners warned us. But hey, you followed your nose, and it could have been something amazing. We'll try again sometime. Hey, pups. I think we're done here. Let's go. I know it didn't work out this time, Finn, but I trust what you can find. 
You've got a nose that shows you far more than I can see. And you're probably used to smelling like skunk by now. Let's take a break. We should be able to take care of ourselves here. Food time! Chow down, pups. <laughs> Fire would be nice. At least I'm well practiced in fire starting. I'm ready to cook some food. Get back on the trail? Let's get back out there. Let's go. Ha! Oh, uh, what's going on up there, Stilton? What is that? This shot should be a gimme. Sheesh, you're smaller than I thought. That was a good diversion. Some more food. Three bullets left. Let's be safe out there. I guess I'm gonna have to get used to eating all the parts I never wanted to. Who would have thought I'd expand my palate out here? Well, besides the meat, with a side of meat, and a moose bouche of meat. But we'll eat what we can get, right? And while I don't think I'll ever get used to killing my own food, I can do my best to make sure I make the most of each animal. Looks like we found some birch trees. I'm not even gonna break a sweat. Okay, that was even easier than I expected. It didn't make me ravenous either. Thanks for waiting, pups. We can start a fire at camp now. Ready to go? Hmm. Let's go. Ha! Looks like we've got a chance at a meal, pups. Stay quiet. Just be calm. You've got this. Perfect shot. And now we can reward ourselves with a warm meal. No one has to starve tonight. God, that's a terrible thought. Why did I want this to be my reality? Well, at least I feel properly alive. And I'm getting kind of good at this. Okay, I'm back. Some more food. Oh, I'm starving. All right, we've got two bullets. All right, let's mush on. Let's take a break. We should be able to take care of ourselves here. Food time! Chow down, pups. <laughs> A 
fire would be nice. Birch bark works wonders for starting fires. I'm ready to cook some food. Get back on the trail? I think we're done here. Let's go. Trigger. Huh! I hit it! And it's still fine. Great. You will hit this caribou. You will kill this caribou. Yes! We did it! Bone is ours! <laughs> We're pretty good at this. I'm back. We've got some more meat. <sighs> so no bullets. Let's be safe out there. Fork in the road. Where to? G! Is that a squirrel up there? Why is it running so... Oh, it's a weasel. You know, we're actually doing pretty well. I mean, we're still alive. And we're getting closer to our new home. But we're making our way. And we probably don't need any more bullets. I mean, somebody hid bullets out here, right? Hmm. Let's go... Ha! Oh, there's an owl somewhere nearby. Ooh. Ooh. Not an owl! I think I like moose. Or owls. I think I just have to risk the bad luck. All right, let's mush on. We'll make a camp at the next safe spot. Let's rest. Take a break, pups. Boot time! Chow down, pups. I'll, I'll be okay. A fire would be nice. Birch bark works wonders for starting fires. I'm ready to cook some food. Be time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? All right, everyone feeling better? Might be time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? All right, everyone feeling better? Get back on the trail. Let's be safe out there. I thought 
things were going to plan. I really did. The moose rushed right at us. We're alive, but that's what I wanted, right? To feel alive? Oh, now what? Ha! You pup see that? Oh, please be full, please be full. Two bullets. You know what? Better than nothing. Okay, I'm back. Okay, at least we've got two bullets. Ready to go? There's another thing with antlers out there. Well, that's gotta be an elk, right? Can't be that big and that far away without being a sizable creature. What do you think? Okay, line it up. Accommodate for distance and this gun and... Let's go, pups. Hey, pups. This is our last bullet. We've got to find some food soon. Let's go, Chomper. Now what? Gee! Uh, what was that? Chomper, was that you? Okay, I heard it again. Did you make that sound? Right then. Uh, so what does that mean, exactly? Just like we planned it. Let's pack up what we can and get back out there. Thanks for holding down the sled, pups. We've got some more meat. I'm starving. Okay, so we're out of bullets. All right, let's mush on. If I'll ever feel comfortable running on top of water. Doesn't look like you pups like it much either. There's something up ahead. Is that a fish wreck? I suppose a river is a good spot for it. I wonder when someone last fished here. It doesn't look like this has held fish in forever. There's a fishing pole still here. I mean, I left it for a reason. I left a perfectly good couch on the street, hoping it would serve someone else well. This is probably one of those situations. Maybe they carved free into the dirt, but the snow is covering it. Well, I can always bring this back later. This can certainly be put to better use than as decoration. Maybe I should try it out here? 
And now we wait. Or not. I think I like fishing. Time to get back out there. Well, that was worth it. Another meal ready to go. Oh, I'm starving. Let's get back out there. Let's look for a good spot to camp. Let's rest. Take a break, pups. Food time! Chow down, pups! I need to eat first. I'm not sure I'll wake up if I don't. We don't have anything to make a fire. Get back on the trail? Alright, let's mush on. Right, let's keep going. Ha! I'm, uh, I'm feeling a little weak, pups. Oh, thank God that was just a nightmare. I'll make sure we find food. I need to keep an eye on all of us. It's okay. They were just nightmares. It's not gonna happen to us. Nightmare reminded me. It's a good thing we have an overactive imagination. We know what we're up against. Well, we can imagine what we're up against. Hunt chops. 